In this tutorial, I'm going to cover the shockwave effect within X-Lights. So here we go. This is the shockwave and I'll drop it into place. Now effectively, the shockwave almost simulates like an explosion. So you can see the colors that are supported. We have color curves are supported. So we can have gradients that go in the different directions. You can have a, a, a radial gradient there and in the opposite direction. And we can also have the color transition over time. And these can be used in conjunction with the static colors as well. So I'll just go back to the static colors and let's look at the shockwave settings. So the first two allows you to move the start position of the effect where it radiates from. Next is the start radius. So if I increase this, you can see the start radius is bigger. So in this case, the effect goes in reverse. I can make this the second radius is where the effect will finish. We can then alter the width at the start and the width at the end. So here, the width of the effect is gradually going to get bigger or I could have it doing the reverse where it gets thinner. Obviously all of these can be animated as well using the value curves. Then we have the option. First one here is the acceleration. So here you can see the effects will start off slowly then gradually speed up or you can have it just shoot off like this. And obviously the speed of the effect is also affected by the size it is on the timeline. So, you know, if you want a quick explosion, you can do this, and this slows down the effect as well. And then the final option is blend edges. If we do that, you can see we just get really harsh edges. So this tends to be nicer. And this makes a fantastic effect to use to beats of music or really loud drum beats and things like that. So, that's it for the shockwave and until next time, see you later.